Okay, I got x in two places right here in the exponents. So one thing I could do is just take the log of both sides. And that would let me use my power property to bring these powers down to the front. <coughs> I need to distribute over here x log 9 minus log 9 equals x log 7. Then I want to move this one over here. And I want to move that one over here. And when I do that, I get x log 9 minus x log 7 equals log 9. And look, I got an x both places, factor an x. Divide through by log 9 minus log 7. <clears throat> and then just be careful when you calculate that. Because you'll need to, we need to do log 9, that's easy. But then when you divide, you need to divide by the whole denominator. So you want to say log 9, close that one. Subtract log 7, close that one. And then close the denominator. And that's the answer you come out with. <coughs> 8. My answer is 8742930489. And then let's see if, if it works right here. If it works. And as soon as I hit enter, it's going to change my answer down there. So I'm just going to subtract these two. When I go to check it, I'm just going to subtract them. So let's do 9 up to the answer minus 1 power and subtract 7 up to the answer power and it's going to be taking this answer and putting it in there and we should get 0 we did it took this and put it in here where these variables were and this one tested my 8 looks a little goofy but other than that we're good on I was zoomed in too much. We're good on number seven. We'll be back.